Today we're going to be making some grapefruit jam. I started by picking the grapefruits off my tree yesterday and preparing them. You might start by picking them up at the grocery store and preparing them in the same way. So we'll be using these grapefruits. You'd probably need fewer if you had lovely full plump grapefruits from the grocery store, but we have some puny ones so we'll use more of them. We'll be cooking them in a steel pot and we'll need some uh, canning jars which we'll sanitize in a big pot. I'm going to start by pouring two cups of water into my pot. We can always add more if we need it depending on how much grapefruit we come up with. We'll wash the grapefruit because we're going to be using some of the zest. Make sure we wash it really well. We're going to take off the very outside edge of the grapefruit skin with a peeler because we'll be slicing that up to use it as zest. Here's our zest from several different grapefruits. So then we thinly slice up the zest into the pot. My grapefruits have a very thick crust so I uh, slice everything off and end up with a little inside piece which I slice up and that'll go into the pot too. I'm going to pour four cups of sugar into the mixture and bring the mixture to a boil. Stir it up and uh, let it boil for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to um, let it sit overnight and we will start again tomorrow. We need clean jars to put our jam in. So we sterilize the jars for at least 15 minutes at a rolling boil, which they are not at yet. Um, the jars and the lids have to be sterilized for 15 minutes. I like to make sure the jars are going to stay clean when I take them out of their water bath. Um, so I usually put down paper towels. Now that we've got our jars all ready and waiting, we are ready to proceed with the jam. Don't throw out the water that you sterilized the jars in because you'll be sterilizing the jars full of jam. Sure. Prepared grapefruit mixture from yesterday and we will boil it, keeping a watchful eye on it until we have the right so consistency. For. And you can stir from time to time to keep, the, keep it from bubbling over. I'm going to get it going nicely. Um, from time to time you can take off the bubbly, little bubbly scum if you want to. I never find that that's too unpleasant, but uh, this is what we're looking for. And we'll get the, get it to the right consistency and then we'll pour it in our jars. A bit of the jam poured on a plate does not run, so we'll take it out and put it in our jars. Jars and put them back into our water bath. Cover them up, boil them, wait till it comes to a boil, and uh, boil them for 10 minutes. We've boiled our jam in the jar for 10 minutes. And we're going to wait until the tops, the lids, kind of pop up. You'll hear them from time to time. Um, and you, well, you'll know then that you have um, safe and delicious grapefruit jam. It's important to put a date on your jam. 